welcome back. Oh, yeah. Well, she is by far one of the most popular guests we've ever had on our show in nine seasons, helping us all get over our fear of snakes. Emily from the Snake Discovery Center just got back from Florida where she had one where she you got to come back to the TV. I'm going to give you a minute. Come back. Come back. She had a one of a kind find while on the hunt for snakes. Look at this. Uh, what are you working at here, Emily? We found a huge Burmese python. Oh, my God. Holy cow. Oh, what? I can't believe we found it. Holy moly. Wow. That's so much bigger than I thought it was from the road. This is insane. He's this musking all over you, too. It smelled terrible. Wow. So, oh, Ooh. my God. Nope, don't need that to happen. No. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a very, very large Burmese python sliving around and, well, uh, showing it's a little aggression to Emily on the side of a Florida road. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show from the Snake Discovery Center. Give it up for Emily Roberts, everybody. Hello. Um, I just want you to know that Fallon, uh, I always look forward to your presence. Uh, Fallon, I don't even know where she is. I think she I left. She uh, I, she's she's hiding somewhere. Oh, she's behind our monitors over there. Yeah, anyway. Can we talk a little bit? Uh, I don't want to get overly, <laughs> there's Fallon right there, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be fine, Fallon, just stay behind the, yeah. Um, I don't want to get overly serious, but this is a problem. Uh, snakes and pythons, are a problem in Florida. We're there in Orlando. Hello, Orlando. Can you talk briefly about what is going on there and why it is an issue? Yeah, so there's so many different invasive species in Florida currently, and the big one right now is the Burmese pythons. Uh, they were introduced from released pets, as well as Hurricane Andrew back in 92, destroying a reptile breeding facility north of the Everglades, Everglades which released a bunch of berms too. Now they're everywhere. So it's just, it, I, and I saw some number, and this could be inflated or conservative. We're talking somewhere around uh, statewide, uh, 300,000. Uh, am I uh, right, audience, uh, in the state of Florida? Yeah, they're, they're hard to track, and so they don't know exactly the number, but they estimate between 100 and 300,000, yeah. Is this solvable, in your expert opinion? Is this a solvable problem? I think it's a lost cause at this point. I think there should be focuses on other invasives that we can eradicate, but I think the berms are there to stay. They're there to stay. Day. I think so. Okay, hear that, Fallon? I'm just joking. Okay. Uh, uh, how many snakes did you find on that hunt? We found a good couple of dozen. I mean, we started kind of just getting tired of all the water moccasins we found, because those were old, old news after a while. But that Burmese python. Emily, oh my God. Um, okay, uh, maybe old news for you, but uh, when you say water moccasin, because uh, those bad boys, they're not friendly, right? The moccasins, they're not. They're friendly but they're not mean they don't want to chase you or anything they're still cute I mean I love them but when you see a hundred of them I want to find something different I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not I'm not saying I, I, did you say oh when I see a hundred of them you mean oh not at one time just oh, over your life between those and water snakes we've seen so many of those so we're looking for different more unique things when we herp in Florida okay well, let's look for unique things here. What do we have today? The first snake I have for you is a beautiful rat snake. Now, this is a Texas rat snake. You can guess where they come from. But what's different about this guy compared to most of them that you see in the wild is he was born missing his scales. He is a scaleless Texas rat snake. Super um, bizarre. How does that happen? You know, just like how you'd see like an albino squirrel in your backyard, mutations happen with reptiles too, and not only albinism, but scalelessness, which is not a good trait. I mean, they don't, they don't have that protection, but they feel like velvet. May I, are they mean? No, he's actually really nice. This species is known for having a bit of an attitude, but his name is, <laughs> his name is Buck. Yeah, yeah, he's very nice though. Buck, okay. short for buck naked, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bit of an attitude and buck naked. You're, descri <laughs> You're describing photographer Eric right there, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there. Oh. See? Yeah. Oh, he's very smooth. Insanely smooth. Yeah, you never really get a chance to touch these. But yeah, he feels like I don't know, velvet or he, peach yeah. fuzz. It's something like that. Yeah, he's very smooth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what are they? What are these? Uh, what do they eat? These love to eat rats and other rodents. So okay. that's actually how they get the name, the rat snake, is they are excellent rodent oh, control. Oh, I mean, if I would have thought about that for two seconds, <laughs> I would have come up with that. Okay, let's give it up for the rat snake, everybody. Oh, Thank right. you. We're gonna do one more here. And we'll save the bigger ones for Fallon. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do we have here? This is called a beauty snake. And they are, they really are gorgeous. They live up to their name. This one specifically is a Taiwanese beauty snake. They live in Asia near caves. They eat a lot of bats, of all things. He does? Yeah. Okay, he's recoiled, like his little head's recoiled, like he's getting ready to strike. Am I, is that right? You know, you're, you're right. In most cases, this is what was considered the strike pose with snakes, but it's only in certain circumstances. I I know based on his behavior, I know the snake, he's just sitting like that to sit. They're excellent climbers because of the caves and forests they live in. Yeah. So this is just how he wants to sit. He's posing because he knows uh, Director Leo is putting him on camera five. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> are, are, he knows. Are the, you know, my usual question, uh, docile or with an attitude? What, where, where's uh, the snake here? These guys are a hit or a miss. This one is friendly, which is why I brought him for you to meet. Yeah. Uh, these, though, if they're feeling stressed, they will flatten out their bodies vertically to try to look big and scary. Really weird. They don't flatten out sideways or horizontally like a cobra. And they also take their tail and they waggle it. They don't vibrate it. They, they waggle it like a dog to just hit things around them to make noise to scare you away. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, super bizarre. He, that, that is a beautiful snake, I will say. Right, they're aptly named. It's like they have natural mascara, too, if you look at their they face. They do have natural mascara. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. They visited the mat counter right before they got here. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> well, we're not done. Uh, and uh, this is the part of the show where we go find Fallon wherever she's hidden. And uh, she's going to come out and join us when we come back. More with Emily right after this. <laughs> Here. Uh, Fallon has joined me, and as you can see, uh, Fallon is closest to the exit uh, right there. So if we need to leave at any point, let's welcome back Emily uh, to the show. Now, M oh, now before we talk about this, we had a question, uh, something that I missed when, when you were in Florida. You said one of the snakes musked on you. What is that? Yes, so when snakes are scared, they have a musk gland, which is basically them just emitting a very foul-smelling liquid is the musk. Uh, it's part of their all-in-one hole down there, which is very convenient. Oh. Oh. But you will smell <laughs> terrible after that. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, on their dating profile. I, 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 I was going to say, a, a swipe left, right on that one. Yeah, okay. The all-in-one. Okay. Uh -huh. What do we have? So I figured we'd start with the lizard. Since Fallon isn't a huge fan of snakes, we'll ease you into okay. a nice big yeah. snake next. It's a gateway mm. reptile. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this is called a blue-tongued skink. Her name is Oprah Skinkfree. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> The name Oprah is Skink Free? I'm okay. proud of it. I can't yeah, yeah, I love that. That's that's a good <laughs> so the word skink means smooth lizard with short legs. It's a very, very oh. accurate description oh. here. Oh. They have pretty short, essentially useless legs. They can't move very fast. Um, oh. I, I can't believe I'm going to ask this. Is Oprah friendly? She is very friendly. These are known for being friendly, which is why I thought she'd be perfect as a gateway reptile yes. for you. Would you, like, would you like to touch Oprah? I'd love to touch Oprah. <laughs> You can probably see why they're the blue oh, tongue. Yeah. <laughs> She's very nice, yeah. Do you want to hold her? Sure. I oh, think, oh wow. look at Brave Fallon. Look at this. Just Fallon's kind of support gonna hold from underneath. Oprah. Just like this? Yep, wherever. Perfect. Look at that. Hi. You want to? You want to? Ask she's her. Turning. Yeah, she's she turning. no, she's good. She's good. She, no, she wants to tell you her book club selection this oh. month. That's right. Yeah. What's your favorite thing? Yeah, yeah. that's right. She is turning to look at you though. Mm. I, I am noticing that. I don't. Yep. Are you are you good? Should we return Oprah? I'm not holding that thing. There's no way. No, no, no. Yeah. I figured with her I could point out a couple of the differences between snakes and lizards because yeah. she's very slender and almost snake-like. But if you look close at the side of her head, she has these big holes on the sides, and those are her ears. Snakes don't have ear holes, and this is going to come into play later. So remember this. Remember this. Okay. Also, remember that snakes don't have ears. That's right. Yeah. And also, if you look at her eyes, she has eyelids, so she can blink her eyes. Not a single snake has eyelids, so that's another difference. Right there. Okay. okay so Give it up for Oprah Skankry or Skinkry. <laughs> Skank, not Skank, Skank. Not, not, not Oprah Skankry. Oprah <laughs> Skinkry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, good. Now we're going to. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. 
Put it around your waist. Yeah, there right. we go. So now we have a beautiful and adorably cute, uh, uh, adorably small, I guess, still, still has some growing to do, red-tailed boa. Oh, boa. Yeah. That's yeah. a boa constrictor, yes, right? Yes, yes. I have brought a boa on here before. It was you have. A, yeah, it was a common boa, I believe, named Doug. Doug. This one's name is Tomato. She is a red-tailed boa, and they're called that because they have a pretty red-colored tail. It's a perfect name for them. Now, boas, uh, because my friend Jason had one, uh, they're pretty docile. Like, if, if you're going to have a pet in the snake variety, mm -hmm. this is a pretty good one to have, right? Yes, other than how big they get and therefore how much space you need for mm -hmm. them, they're very docile, very friendly snakes, good eaters, they're excellent pets. Yeah, like this could easily sleep in that dog bed that you oh, bought. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I noticed you said the, the snakes don't blink. I uh, don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that they're always watching. <laughs> You can, you'll never wear a, win a staring contest. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Let's give it up for the red tail there. We have one more. Yes. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. I just called the, I just called the snake sweetie. Bye, yeah. honey. See, you're falling for them. They're wonderful, aren't they? Okay, so this is a little bit different. Why this do I think that's going to be deceiving? Well, yeah. it, it doesn't have eyeballs. So, I mean, there's something kind of odd. You got to look really close, though, to notice that there's there's no eyes on this mm -hmm. snake. I should I do want to mention they should have eyes. This is called a ball python. They should have oh. eyes. Oh, I know a ball python, yeah. Yeah, they're excellent starter snakes as well. This one was just born with a genetic mutation, like lacking scales. This one's lacking eyes. Um, but it can Aww. still see just fine because that, they have that extra sense of sight in a way. They, can, they have heat sensing pit organs, those holes on its lips. Mm -hmm. those allow it to see the infrared view of its surroundings yeah. so it's it can sensing hunt my just heat fine. For sure. yeah. <laughs> it's sensing balance heat and my fear <laughs> yeah. yeah but the, again the balls are docile right oh, yeah. I mean they, they're very docile they're called ball pythons because they just curl up into a ball like this so and that's basically yeah very Little easy to pet. hold if you just want to hold him uh, maybe in a minute no? okay I'll hold, I'll hold the ball oh, python okay. Don't. They're very Just, <laughs> It's unnecessary. <laughs> okay. Now, this is what I know about Emily. This it has to be an appetizer because there has to be bigger ones coming. Am I right? Oh, uh, we brought some weird things for you this time. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fallon and I love weird things. Yeah, we that do. more when we come back, back in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> And behave. Here we go. We're back with Emily from Snake Discovery. Okay, Emily, what do we have next? Okay, next I have a mystery reptile. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's up to you to figure that out based on what we were talking about earlier. So we've got a creature here, uh, very, very long, lanky, no legs at all. I'll let you determine. Can you look close and see any features that might tell you what it is? Is it blinking, yeah. Fallon? It's I don't see a blink, but I do see ear holes. Nice, you got both of them. Yeah, yeah nice. So that's a lizard. This is a lizard. It's called a legless yeah, lizard. A legless lizard. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Her a, but but not a snake. Not a snake. Yeah. The ear holes, the eyelids. They have cone-shaped teeth instead of fang-shaped teeth. They've got a long tail. I mean, the tail starts way up here. Um, her name is Legolas. Legolas lizard. We have one at the. Uh, there's one at our zoo named Lieutenant Dan, but he's not as friendly, so oh. he stays at the zoo. Oh, because okay. oh, because he needs magic legs. Yes, that's yeah, right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Are I they like fast? They actually are very slow, from oh. what I've noticed. They're, I like they're, that. They live underground in burrows. Those legs just got in the way, so they just don't don't have legs it's yeah not not needed for this species um, this one is actually very friendly though they just kind of sit wherever you put them do you want to hold her Come on, Fallon. not a snake look at that <laughs> yeah. she really doesn't she move doesn't much she doesn't move at all she's like me on the weekends on the couch <laughs> Okay, we have uh, two more. Yeah, we'll give yeah. Legolas back. Thank sure. you. Okay. You know um, the movie Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, by yeah. the way? Uh -huh. The snake pit scene? They just used a bunch of legless lizards. <gasps> they cheated. They didn't even use snakes. Oh. They were all legless lizards. Oh, yeah. because it's probably safer. Probably. Insurance. Yeah. And, yeah, thanks. Could be. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're trading out reptiles. What do we have here? Okay, this is a unique species. This is called a plated lizard, and they're named after all these plate-like scales covering their body. They feel like an armadillo. Oh. Yeah, you've got to touch. Him. He's oh. just so yeah. cool. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, these are really neat. They live in Africa, and when they're scared, they wedge themselves into rock crevices, and then they inflate with air, which keeps them stuck in there, and there's no way you're going to remove them at that point. Oh. Yeah, that's how the scales come in handy. That's why they're kind of laterally flattened. They have that flat body. They just are wedge-shaped to get away from predators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it knows what it's doing. Yeah. It knows what it's doing. <laughs> yes. uh, what do they eat? These eat a lot of insects. They'll eat uh, rodents if they can catch them. They eat just really anything they can catch. They're not that picky. They're, they're meat eaters uh, in general. Okay, um, now there's something on my card that I never ever want to see. Uh, these are cards that uh, talk about the guests on the show. And I, I saw the word venomous. Venomous. Yeah. Uh, is that what were the grand finale? Yeah, I, uh, I actually need gloves for this last animal, so we're going to put these on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a no for me, Doc. Fa Fallon is, uh, Valen is peacing out as they say, okay, uh, those are mighty big gloves you have on. Yes, um, we want to play it safe. I'm not expecting this animal to want to bite me. She's, well, she's going to want to. I'm not ex expecting her to bite me, but to be safe, we have gloves. I'm not expecting Fallon to stay on the set. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay, a little distance what do we here. have? Uh, let me grab her here. This is the U.S.'s only venomous species of lizard. Whoop, sorry, some, just betting, just betting, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a Gila monster. Yes. That's a Gila monster. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look at that. And I got it. Let me just make a production note. In the commercial break, director Leo told me to stand more in the center. No. <laughs> no, I, I'm, uh, Leo, I politely decline your request. Okay, uh, talk to us about the Gila monster. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people pronounce it Gila monster. It's spelled G-I-L-A, but if you want to sound like a professional, use, use an H. It's a Gila monster. These live in Arizona and the southwestern portion of the U.S. They're very slow moving, though, so they're not really a threat to humans at all, but they are venomous, and they, they haven't been found to use their venom on prey, though, because they're not fast enough to chase prey. They eat a lot of eggs because eggs won't run away from you. Yeah. So we, we assume their venom is more used defensively rather than to catch their food items. But they're really cool animals. If you want, you can pet her. Oh, I'll hold her like this. After you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Kind of feels like an ex of mine. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. So, he, was, uh, he was venomous as well. <laughs> no. uh, Emily, really quick, people can visit the Discovery Center, right? Absolutely. We're in Maplewood. We're a reptile store and an educational center. We do reptile birthday parties. We have a ton of reptiles on display that you can see and learn about. Here, kids, here's a Gila monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Give it up for our good friend, Emily, everybody. Be sure to check out all of Emily's amazing videos. You will learn so much that, uh, on the Snake Discovery YouTube channel and visit her website, snakediscovery.com. We're gonna, we're gonna remove the moisture from both me and Fallon and we'll be right back, back in a moment, everybody. <laughs> Beautiful.